Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're diving into the world of protein, what it is, why it's crucial, and how your body actually uses it. Get ready to unlock the power of protein. Hit the subscribe button to support us. Let's get started. What exactly is protein? Protein is one of the three macronutrients, along with carbohydrates and fats, that your body needs to function properly. Think of proteins as the building blocks of your body. They're made up of smaller units called amino acids, linked together like beads on a string. These amino acids are essential for building and repairing tissues, making enzymes and hormones, and supporting a healthy immune system. You can find protein in a variety of foods. First up, we have our animal-based protein sources. These are complete proteins, meaning they contain all nine essential amino acids your body needs. Think lean meats like chicken breast and turkey, fish like salmon and tuna, packed with omega-3s too. Eggs are another fantastic option, versatile and a great source of protein and choline. And don't forget dairy. Greek yogurt is a protein powerhouse, perfect for breakfast or a post-workout snack. Next, we'll discuss plant-based proteins. For our plant-based friends, there's a whole world of protein-packed goodness waiting for you. Lentils, beans, and chickpeas are excellent sources of protein and fiber, keeping you full and satisfied. Tofu, tempeh, and edamame are soy-based options that can be incorporated into a variety of dishes. Quinoa, a complete protein, is a great alternative to rice or pasta. And don't underestimate the power of nuts and seeds. They're packed with protein, healthy fats, and essential minerals. So, how much protein do you need? Well, it depends on factors like your age, activity level, and overall health goals. Generally, the recommended daily allowance is around 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. However, athletes and those looking to build muscle mass may need more. So, how does your body actually use the protein you eat? The journey begins in your mouth, but the real action starts in your stomach. Here, strong stomach acid unfolds a protein, a process called denaturation, making it accessible to the enzyme pepsin. Pepsin begins breaking the protein into smaller chains. This partially digested protein then moves to the small intestine. Here, enzymes from your pancreas continue breaking it down. Even smaller enzymes on the intestinal wall, called brush border enzymes, finish the job, resulting in individual amino acids. These amino acids are absorbed through finger-like projections called villi that line your small intestine. Specialized transporters carry the amino acids across the intestinal wall and into your bloodstream. Once in the bloodstream, amino acids travel to the liver, which acts as a distribution center, sending them to different tissues throughout your body. Now, your body can put these amino acids to work. They are the building blocks for new muscle tissue. They help repair damaged cells, create vital hormones like insulin and growth hormone, and even contribute to a healthy immune system. They can also be used for energy if needed, and to make other essential molecules in your body. So, there you have it, a quick overview of the amazing world of protein. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And as always, thanks for watching.